everybody welcome back to homestead heart i am still outside in the greenhouse and i am getting ready to make some seed starting mix i have a lot of seeds to start so i have to get started with making my seed starting mix and i'm going to show y'all how i make it i think i've shared this with you before but that was then this is now i'm going to show you all what i do to make my own seed start mix let's get to it all right, y'all, so I am outside of the greenhouse for this because at the moment, I just don't want to make a mess in there. It's so nice and neat and clean. I don't want to <laughs> make a mess. So in any case, you all, what I'm going to be using is my, hmm, what I'm going to be using is some peat moss and some really coarse vermiculite. And again, I've done this in the past, but I'm going to show you how I make it yet again and it is so easy i'm going to be starting a lot a lot of seeds so for me it is not feasible for me to buy the little five dollar bag of jiffy seed starting mix okay however if you're starting a few trays you know just a few three four trays it doesn't matter you know if you're starting a few trays that will be perfect for you okay to get the little bags it's already pre-mixed all, all you got to do is um put it inside of your trays moisten it and let it soak up all that water you know that's it's real simple right but i am going to be making my own because it's so easy to do it really is you all it's the same thing it's so easy to do so i'm going to show you what i'm doing all right you all so what I have here is just a little old tote that I was originally going to use for a worm bin. And I did not use it for a worm bin, long story. But in any case, I'm going to use this. It has holes in the bottom, so I had to put some cardboard down in the bottom for this mix. Because of course, I'm not throwing away my tote. I may use it for a bin later on. But the first thing I'm going to do is just take this little three-gallon bucket right here. And I'm going to fill it with some peat moss. I've already taken some peat moss out of the bag, so I'm just going to fill this bucket with some peat. See how light and fluffy this stuff is? Look at that. It's really light and fluffy. And I'm using this bucket as my measuring bucket, if you will. All right, so now I have one full bucket of just peat moss, and I'm just gonna dump that in. Next, I'm gonna add in some vermiculite. Now my vermiculite is very coarse. It's what they consider to be a medium coarse. It's not fine like what you would probably buy at the store. This is a medium coarse. So I'm gonna add that to it. Then I'm gonna take my shovel and I'm gonna give this a mix around. And the vermiculite is just to help hold in the moisture. We don't want we don't want this to dry out too too fast, okay? Because the peat it can get really dry, and I mean really dry, <laughs> as you see. All right. So now that I have this all mixed. Actually, because that is so coarse, I'm going to add another half bucket of peat moss to that because it is such a coarse, 
a very coarse vermiculite instead of a fine vermiculite. It's just really coarse. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the peat moss to this. All right. So that's about a half a bucket. Now I'm going to give it a mix again. Oh yeah, that's perfect. If this were a fine vermiculite, then it would have been one and one because it is so coarse. I needed to add a little extra. That looks fantabulous. My guineas are walking up the road. I don't know where they're going. It's my road, but they walking up the road. <laughs> they're all the way over yonder. Good job. Yes, I'm talking about y'all. Good job. Right on cue. All right, you all. So, what I'm going to be using are these 72 cell plug trays right here now and i'm using these based upon the seeds that i'm starting i'm going to be starting peppers today so i'm going to be using 72 cells to start them i have an old top right here you know those tops that go on the um totes well dollar general was throwing a lot of them away and i'm like i got use for that <laughs> and i do so i'm going to sit this on just like this I have my seed starting mix down here that I just made and a red cup. And you know, you can start seeds in these also, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and use these to get my cells filled up. Okay, now you can see the tray is full, right? But that don't mean nothing. Right? And any excess, I'm just going to brush off to the side on my little top here. And that's just going to go right back inside of my my tote over here with my seed starting mix all right now I'm just gonna mash down each one of these cells right here just to remove any air right just to remove air Then I'm going to cover that up again. Like so. All right. Now, what I'm going to do with this, because... This stuff right here drinks a ton of water, okay? This is one way. It drinks a ton of water. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this tray right here, and I am going to fill it with water. Remember, this doesn't have holes in it. That's about halfway. I'm going to sit this down in here, just like so. And then I'm going to sit this to the side and let it drink up the water from the bottom. Now, if you're not in a hurry, this is the perfect way to do this. I'm going to grab this tray and I'm going to sit it to the side. 
The alternative way to do this is to simply fill this container up. Let's put the jug out of the way. Now, I have some of my seed starting mix in this tray here. And I just realized that the peat moss that I purchased has a lot of little sticks in it, which is not good. I could actually sift this out, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. So what I'm going to do is just take my water. So you can see just how much water this actually drinks. And I actually would not usually be doing this in this container. I would actually be doing it in my wheelbarrow, but I'm inside. So now let me just show you how this would actually work. I got to bring my little garden tools out here. So I'm going to use this stick. But as you see, I'm just mixing this around in the water. And all that water I just poured in here, you see how dry this steel is, right? So I'm going to give this a minute to soak up all of that water that I just poured in there. Actually, it has. <laughs> but it is still extremely, extremely dry. I'm going to add some more water. Just give it a mix. Now it's getting a little soupy. Which is good. Alright, so I'm going to leave this here. Maybe about five minutes or so. Alright y'all, so I, was re I thought I was recording and I was not. And you missed me showing you after the seed starting mix was pre-moistened i was showing you how after about seven or eight minutes or so you can squeeze it and there's no water right because it soaked up all the water and if it didn't soak up all the water that would have been fine i just could have added a little more peat moss and it would have been okay so what i did was i went ahead and added it to my tray and now what I'm going to do is just mash down the plugs, right? Or mash down in each cell to remove any air pockets, okay? And once I do that, like so, I'm going to come back with more of the mix and just fill those spaces in. That's all. And this tray... It's going to be ready for seeds. And I have more to do like this. And I love putting these little tops underneath because it cuts down on the cleanup. And this tray is ready for planting. All right, y'all, that is going to do it for today. I just wanted to show you those two methods that you can use to start your seeds. You can put the um, solid 1020 in the bottom, fill it with water, and just sit the tray down in and leave it and come back in a few hours and check on it. Or you can pre-moisten like I did and then fill the trays right away. And these babies are ready to go. Okay? All right, y'all, that's going to do it for today. My camera is acting crazy. I don't know what's going on with it, but I don't want to lose this again. So that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed how I prepare my seed starting mix and my trays for planting. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel. Thank y'all so much for watching Homestead Heart. It's seed start time! Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. When I'm starting seeds. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> what, what?